Peter Beadle back at Edgar Street this afternoon, but uh, commentating duties, I think. <laughs> yeah, Keith asked me a couple of weeks ago if I'd like to come over and do a game, which I, you know, I felt yeah, it'd be, be nice to come over and, and watch a game in in you know a live game. So uh, so yes, yeah, so it was it was nice. It was nice to be back, and uh, I've had lots of uh, friendly welcomes. So it was just it's just good to be back. And what do you actually think of the game? Yeah, I thought the game was. Lots of chances, but um, lacked a little bit of quality at times, I think. Um, and uh, just, like I said, either team could have won it in the end. So probably a good game for the neutral. Um, not so clever if you're a Hereford supporter or a Boston supporter, because obviously either team could have won it at the death. So, uh, so like I said, I just think that it was, um, it was an entertaining game for the neutral with, with lots of chances, but just a little bit of lack of quality. Particularly in the striking area for Hereford. Um, for both teams in the in the final third, uh, obviously you know Boston have had a couple in the second half. And they've they've had you know a clear sight of goal, and, and I just feel that both teams didn't have enough bodies in the box. Um, but yeah, but like I said, it was uh, it's been difficult. I'm sure it's been a difficult season, and obviously with I've Keith said that, that the other day or today that the Hereford haven't scored in four games, um, so it was nice to get that nice to get that off their shoulders. Uh, but I just think that, that maybe they went a little bit negative with the changes to try and shore it up when sometimes the best form of defence is attack and, and to get at them and try and score a second goal rather than to protecting what they had. So And obviously at the end of it, either team could have won it in the end. So, um, But yeah, but like I said, it was, it was a really good game. I enjoyed it you know, immensely. And like I said, either team could have won it in the end. We've had some good news today. We've got a new chairman, Chris Hammonds, who yeah. I'm sure you will remember. Yeah, I think he's a fantastic choice to be chairman. Um, he's a people person. Um, he's very open and honest, um, and I think he'll be. I think he'll be a, a really good choice to uh, to move things onwards. Yeah, because the club has fallen apart a little bit. What's bringing it back together? Really? Um, listen, I'm disappointed for the supporters that it hasn't continued to thrive the way it did when we were here um, and I, it, there's no bitterness from me I just I'm just disappointed because obviously the hard work that we did to get to where we were hasn't been followed up and uh, and so it's so it's it's difficult for me as because I'm a I'm a supporter as well so I, you know I, I love this place and and I, and I, I consider it my second home so um, so I've spent many years here coaching the youth team and the Hereford United and obviously Hereford FC. So uh, so I hopefully for them that they'll that it'll start to to move forward now because obviously it has gone certainly seems like it's gone stale over the last two or three seasons um, and and there doesn't seem to be any further progression from when we left. Um, None whatsoever. No, and that, and like I said, and that's you know it's it's all it's a great job when you're a chairman if you're if you've got hindsight but obviously you know if you if you don't have that hindsight every every appointment is a gamble so um but it's just a shame that 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 we left when we did and we didn't get an opportunity because I still believe that we would have achieved our goal of certainly being in the national league within two seasons of being in the national north um but but it wasn't to be well we all know there's a vacancy here <laughs> would you like to come back Oh, I, I've said it to several people now. I, I said, look, at the end of the day, do I think I could do the job? Yes, of course I do, because I know what the know what the supporters need and want. Uh, they want to see attractive, open football, but most importantly, they want to see winning football. Yes, can I do that? Of course I can, but I just think I've, there's probably a bit too much time passed now. Um, so, but but yeah, like I said, if I if I, could I do it? Of course I could, but I have total total you know faith in myself to turn it round. But but I I just think that maybe they would be looking for someone a little bit younger and uh, and someone a bit more new Some, age. Sometimes an old head though. Yeah, maybe, but but you've had them you before. Know, you've seen things. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I, look, look, at the end of the day, if they wanted to ring me and you know. I'd, I'd, of course, I'd talk to them, but um, but I, I, no one knows more than what the club wants and need, what the supporters want and need, more than anything, more than me. So, um, so like I said, so it's, I just think it's you know, maybe a bit too much of a gap in between. So, uh, but look, never say never. <laughs>